Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. Let's see what's going on here. Nine of Cups. Okay, devil energy on the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy. Let's see what this is about. Knight of, Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands. The Empress and the World. Looks like somebody here experienced some, some, some disappointment. I... <laughs> You could just be disappointed that what you manifested here hasn't come in. You know, there's a wish fulfillment, something you want really bad. But the, the good news is the bigger picture is you're going from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Okay, so you started out from the bottom, now you're here. Okay, <laughs> literally, that's the energy. Okay, you could have a Capricorn wanting to communicate with you or there's somebody here who's obsessively like stalking you watching you wanting to talk to you thinking about you or this could be somebody wanting to make a love offer coming towards you okay with the knight of cups and the knight of wands somebody who's super duper attracted to you um you know they want to we'll see though we'll come back to it because that's on the bottom of the deck show me more here for the collective so right now, predominantly, I'm seeing Gemini and um, Capricorn energy. Yeah, you definitely release and let something go here, okay? If you're experiencing some... I feel like, you know what, you guys may have gotten rejected or you may have felt some form of rejection. Or you just could just be upset you know, with the current situation. You knew you had to let something go, but you're not completely happy with what is currently happening in your life right now. So it looks like you did what you needed to do as far as walking away from a situation that no longer served you. You're taking time to yourself. You're taking time alone to, I believe, focus on yourself. But sometimes you know, that's not as enjoyable, right? It's not, yeah, you took time for yourself to, to release yourself from something, a situation that did not align with your morals and your values here. It didn't, it didn't. So it looks like to me, you walked away from something that just lacked morals, somebody who lacked morals and you walked away to do some healing. Yes, you did. I like this. You're coming out of denial and you're accepting whatever it is. Yeah, you you guys are, yeah, look at this energy here. Acceptance and awakening, okay? It's like, yeah, this isn't working for me. I don't like this anymore. I know I got to walk away. Is it fun? No, it's not fun. But you know what? I know I have what it takes to manifest whatever it is that I want in my life. I know I have all the tools, all the resources. I know my, my own inner strength and my own inner power here. I know I deserve better and I will have better, okay? So and you will with this Nine of Cups and this Magician energy being here, but there's an energy of you needing to be patient, Spirit is saying, with, with us seeing Temperance energy. So let's get more information to see. What else do we need to know from the collective? So... Good for you for walking away. There goes that Knight of, Knight of uh, Wands here again. Man, somebody's very, very attracted to you. There goes Five of Cups. Jeez. Somebody from the past is in regret. Somebody's really upset that they had to let go of... Man, somebody might be upset that they let go of some real good you-know-what. Okay? Could be you, could be your person. I don't know from the past. Somebody is tied up with something that was so, so good. Somebody's thinking about some sex from the past. This is, it's over though, okay? Maybe somebody's just missing the you-know-what from the past. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, a, or you could be a Leo, a Sagittarius here. That Capricorn came right back out, but it came out in reverse. I'm telling you, whatever the situation, it's like you were dealing with somebody here that has some really good you know what it was toxic it didn't align with your morals and your values for whatever reason you know you had to let it go empress on the bottom of the day you knew you had to do what you had to do you knew you had to do what you had to do that's exactly what this looks like 
you know, it wasn't a stable situation. This was not a stable situation at all. Did I say Scorpio and Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius for the world card energy here? I feel like you're manifesting your own new beginning. You you know that that person, yeah. See, there goes that Knight of Wands energy again, a mutual intense sexual connection. Like there's a strong energy here of just sex, I don't know. Um, you, you're manifesting something new though. So that magician and that Nine of Cups energy is a new connection. So after you let go of that past toxic person who had the good, good, <laughs> we ain't good, good, but we still good. That's what I'm saying. You got a loving relationship coming towards you in the future, okay? Fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, walking away from this other situation to something else after being in the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups energy. Um, <laughs> This is good. Somebody new is about to have a crush on you. Show me more here. Oh. So for those of you who were dealing, oh yeah, see there goes that past energy. That past energy just was not working for you. It was definitely, yeah. See, this is this past energy, the sex was really, really good. I feel like, okay, but there was in some form of drama, right? It didn't work. That's why integrity was an issue here. It's almost like you had to, you know, just, I don't even know if I want to go into detail about it, but we're all adults, right? You know, we've all been with somebody when the sex was good, but there was nothing else. Everything else was lacking. Well, I feel like this situation, there was a bunch of crazy drama that you knew you didn't need to have in your life. Uh, the sex was great. The, the intense sexual chemistry was mutual between the two of you. There could have been an age difference between you and this person here. Okay. <laughs> could have been dealing with a younger fire sign. You don't have to be, but yeah. This person is just creeping back up into your energy, you guys. Somebody here is getting ready to get married or engaged soon. Or you're getting ready to meet somebody that you're going to get engaged to. Um, this ex wants to talk to you. But I, but I primarily feel like this ex just wants to have sex. They need some attention. They want your attention. But see, the thing is, you're in search of real love. You're you're looking for real love. You're not just looking for, like, just sex. It's not just about the passion for you. It's about, you know, the things that are beneath the surface. It's not just all about the physical for you. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for something with some substance. You're looking for a connection that's deeper, a deeper emotional connection a deeper spiritual connection you know and someone you can grow with and, and grow old with and, and you're healing and you've just grown out of this you're looking for somebody that treats you like a king or a queen that you deserve to be treated and i really feel like this this new person that you haven't met yet or maybe you just met them and you know you haven't gotten to that point yet but this new person that's coming in, they're going to treat you like the king or the queen that you are. And the, the sexual attraction is going to be just as good. Somebody wants to talk to a queen of cups here. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, male or female. So this ex wants to get back together with you, but I primarily feel like they just need some attention. They need their, you know what, stroke, king of, king of pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We'll see. Um, the moon, cancer energy here. Show me this king of pentacles. Eight of swords. Show me this king of pentacles. Judgment. This eight of swords came out crossing. So somebody's trying to get unstuck here. This masculine is trying to get unstuck. It's almost like they're trying to come out of their fears and, and get unstuck, right? They they want to make a move towards you. 
they're in their head quite a bit and they're tired of being in their head and they want to reconcile judgment energy, Scorpio energy, the chariot. <sighs> Can't more cancer energy here. There's some sort of blockage here though. This person that might be holding themselves back because this, this the energy from the chariot card, I feel like it's not as strong as it usually is. The, the death card, more Scorpio energy. Hmm. Tell me more here about this King of Pentacles. Oh. Six of Wands. The Six of Swords. They just feel like you ended it and you moved on. And you're not thinking about them. You're, you moved away from the drama. They feel like you've moved on. And you move right into the wheel of fortune. You know what I'm saying? Things are turning and changing in your favor. The wheel is turning in your favor here. You have peace, blessings, and abundance in your energy. Some of you guys are getting a lot of attention. That's probably why and this person sees this because you are in the awakening phase. You're growing. You're going through this spiritual transformation, right? You're healing. Um... <laughs> This is so funny. It's, yeah, you're healing. Like I said, the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance energy. This is you healing, moving on. Knight of Cups. The Hermit. King of Swords. There's two people here now. You have a King of Swords coming in towards you. Who wants to give equal give and take they want a happy home they want a healthy relationship ten of cups yeah mm -hmm. you might have a choice though it's probably going to be a burden because i'm seeing the two of wands and the ten of wands so that's telling me there's two paths available to you which one are you going to take here you know one of them is a burden hmm can you clarify this moon here for this King of Pentacles? Ace of Cups in reverse. Y'all are not trying to take this person back. They they are hiding their they're hiding their emotions because they feel like you're not going to take them back. You're just gonna reject them. They feel like they may not have another chance with you. They feel like they may not be able to reconcile with you. Clarify judgment for this King of Pentacles. Six, yeah, they're definitely thinking about you and want to reconcile, okay? The Six of Cups, they do. They miss you. Clarify the Chariot for this King of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands, I told you, they just the only reason why they want to come towards you is to have sex. Give me one more on this King of Pentacles, please. The Emperor. So Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, we, we already saw the Empress earlier here. So this could be somebody here who is a boss. They may own their own business. This person could even be in a commitment to, with somebody else, okay? Because the Emperor and the King of Pentacles is usually in a relationship, okay? Or a marriage, or they, they may have children. They're waiting on you, though. I don't know why they're waiting on you. Show me this Emperor, King of Pentacles energy. Two of Swords. Yeah, look at this. It's over. It's over. It's over. You're guarded. You're protecting yourself. You're, you're protecting yourself. Seven of Wands. Guess what came out? The Empress came out on top of the Death card. Taurus energy or Scorpio energy, which is the opposite sign. Like you're protecting this masculine feels like you're protecting yourself and it's done and over. Some of y'all may have even yeah. You seven of the the fool card and the seven of wands, you're moving on. Well, you're moving on up to the east side. I don't know what to tell this person, you know. I mean they obviously love you and care about you, but they don't seem to be be ready to take any action towards you unless it involves sex. Yeah, reunion. We already said that, right? Reunion energy. 
you know, we already said they miss you. Six of Cups is here. You know. Uh, it's too sad. Divine Masculine misses you like crazy. They really do want to call and talk to you. They really, really do here. I feel like they're still in this confusion energy. And the only thing they know for sure, for sure, is that they want to come towards you and have sex. Listen, they may even call you, you know, text you and be like, hey, can I come over? They may even pop up and like their intent is to just have sex with you. They're definitely going to pop up somewhere and surprise you. <laughs> Look at this energy. Look. Surprise. But this is what it is. The surprise is this. This is this is them pulling up with the surprise. That's the surprise. The surprise is the wand. <laughs> they might come with flowers in hand, but the surprise is the wand, honey. I'm telling you. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. I mean, are they in love with you? Yeah, they love you. They're going to always love you, but they're just not in their right mind. This person hides way too many secrets. Do they love you? Yes, they do, but you know, they know you are their divine counterpart, your divine feminine. You know, they know without a doubt who you are to them. But they have too many. Their situation is so complicated. I don't know what the hell they got going on. Drama, conflict. That's all I need to know. I don't even need to know the the who, what, where, with, what up, whatever. I don't need to know the, do you? All I, all I know is, Kalei is that this person keep is why are you a secret why why do they have to keep you a secret why do they have to keep your feel their feelings for you a secret it's time out for that divine feminine is it's not anybody's secret divine feminine hold on is not anybody's secret no you put an end to that no death card is no mm-mm Give me a few more cards here. Yeah. I feel like you're thinking head over heart. You're you're not heartbroken anymore. You did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. It was hard. It was disappointing. It was sad. It was lonely at sometimes. You didn't understand, but you knew you did what you had to do, even if you didn't know what the journey was gonna look like. You know, you you being in this Eight of Cups and this Nine of Cups energy, I I really really as a reader feel like the energy in between the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups is the most difficult. I don't even feel like the transformation energy, the Death card, is is the toughest energy. I feel like the toughest energy is the sometimes it could be the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups energy, right? Because you're moving out of this sadness and uh, being upset. And then focuses on the negative, you know, instead of the positive. And then you're in this depression and guilt. But when you're in the Eight of Cups energy, you're afraid. You got to do something on your own. You may not have all the answers. You know what I mean? You have to depend and rely on yourself and your spirit guys and your spirit team. And you don't have a plan. You, you know, you just know that this is not working for you and you're just going to move on. And you know it has to be better, but you're, you don't know what that looks like. And you're just... Wishing and hoping and praying, you know it's gonna got to be better than this. And it was better because I feel like at some point you were in this three of swords energy and now you're in this healing. You're you 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 stepped outside of your old habits. You're becoming a new version of who you know. You're no longer the old version, you're a new version. If they come back towards you, you know, the, the wand thing is not going to work anymore. The wand thing is not going to work anymore. I'm just going to tell you that, cross watcher, if you're watching, the wand is not going to work anymore, okay? You, you got to do something else. Light heal, okay? Be honest, all right? Um, your spirit guides are helping you during this this time, okay? But we know that already with that Sagittarius energy here. You, you know what's so crazy? Your person is that you're separated from, they're going through a whole bunch of... They're going. They're unstable. This person is happy one minute, mad another minute, laughing another minute. They're going through it. 
they going through it, honey. I don't know. You gotta, yeah. I want to offer you the world, and I promise you, you will have the best version of me. Hmm. Okay. I feel like the best version of you is this, they're thinking about sex, though. I don't feel like... Expect a miracle. Divine inter intervention is pushing the two of you together, fantasizing. I fantasize about our kids, our home, a vacation, being together. I want it all. I don't know. You might hear from this person, but just be mindful that for some of y'all, their number one concern agenda is to have sex with you. Be careful that that agenda does not include children. I am going to... Clarify this Ace of Swords. I mean the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands, please. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel... One more for the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person is trying to confuse you with sex. You know, it's like, oh, if I give, give her the D, you know, put, it put her to sleep, she, she, she won't She'll forget about all this other stuff. No, you're not going to forget. And you're, I don't feel like you're going to do it. Most of y'all aren't going to do it. Because you know what it is. You 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 already know the game. All right? You 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 know the game. Hmm. I don't know. But that's what I got for y'all. I love y'all. Hit the like button.